All right, so why why did Kanye West piss on his Grammy and then say, I won't stop, or I can't, did he say I won't stop or I can't stop? I honestly think he's got a medical condition and yeah. he's suffering greatly. Yeah, of course he does. That, that guy has had so many situations that have <laughs> screamed, I need help. And I'm pretty sure he tweeted like a really long time ago, I just stopped taking my pills, cut them cold turkey, and I've never felt better. And then he started going crazy, and everyone's like, dude, you really shouldn't have stopped taking those things. <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of people who have me medical conditions or, like, want to... I feel like if we give Kanye the medical condition pass, we're just, like, giving him a pat on the back and be like, you're... Keep, keep on keeping on, brother. It's not your fault. <laughs> No, uh, we don't. I, I say he doesn't get the medical condition pass on this. He's just a fucktard. And like he's pissing on his Grammy and he apparently can't stop. <laughs> he was very clear. He's been drinking too much water. That's what I meant by the medical condition. I wasn't talking about anything <laughs> mental. Oh, you're talking about how he's been peeing for a long time. OK, that makes sense. Yeah, he's on cool. some serious uh, diuretics and they're just he's shriveling up as he pees consistently. For the so next 48 here, hours. So here's what I want to know. Since he's, he put his Grammy in, in the toilet bowl, he started peeing on it. That video stopped. He's, he doesn't have a medical condition where it doesn't stop. Eventually, he's going to stop recording, look at his phone, and then his Grammy is still going to be in the toilet, and he covered either in has to... Yeah. Cover it in piss. It doesn't flush down. That's way too big to flush down a toilet. He has to go in there and grab it himself, nah, or does he make... Does he make Consuela he come down from the there. third floor? No, he's, he's no. calling. No, he's calling somebody. There's no way he did. I wouldn't. You can't be that bad of a person to fucking piss on a Grammy and have somebody else. Take you think it he's? Out. You think he's getting it himself? You can though. You can though. He oh, would. Tell, he's not. He's not above that, dude. He he will totally tell somebody else to come get it. He's not grabbing I, his own piss covered Grammy out of the toilet. Oh, I can't imagine being that terrible of a person to even go up to you even go up to your servant and say i just pissed on my fucking grammy in the bathroom you think you can go and take it out? wait 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 okay so <laughs> here's it up for me and put it back on my shelf here's something it sounds like in the video there's a lot of people in the background is there oh. so it seems like he's in some kind of public situation and he was just like you know what i've had enough of this bullshit the Grammy's been staring at me, judging me for the past three years. I haven't done fuck all with my life. My presidential run was a sham. Dude. Everybody thinks I'm a meme. I'm pissing on this. Wait, it's a metaphor. About, I'm, I'm fuck all of you guys. My pee's dude. clear. <laughs> no, the, the best part is, is like, now that you mentioned that there's a lot of people in the background, what if that's not even his Grammy and he's at somebody else's house and just <laughs> took it out of the like the display case and started pissing on it and was like, yeah, I'm not stopping. Don't tell who I'm not telling you whose house I'm at, but they don't look at Twitter. So I'm going to keep Wait, doing this. Don't, if don't you, look away. I like it when people watch. <laughs> yeah. I can't pee when you look at me. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> So wait, wait, I, I gotta, I gotta bring some up. Do, do either you guys have that? Like I, I cannot, I cannot piss if somebody else is not even in the room. If somebody else is nearby, I can't piss. I, I'm very rarely in that situation. I mean, other than like a oh, no, public like restroom. Public bathrooms. But... Yeah, no, it, it's so fucking hard for me to go public restroom. No, I feel no, that. I, I hate That's, that. I don't struggle yeah. with that. Yeah. Oh, Nine Rain's I got would, that confidence. He's got that like. <laughs> that real good, like I shit in the woods and wipe with leaves confidence. The way I he will looks say, over the, looks over the urinal, the other guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. ask him how his day's going. There's a funny <laughs> part of going out and being a guy that is when you you go out drinking, you get to a point in the night where you have to pee. You go to the bathroom and everybody does this. You walk in and you say something like shitty or funny or make some stupid comment, and then everyone in the bathroom goes, yeah! <laughs> and then wait until the next guy walks in, he says something <laughs> stupid or shitty. And I will, my, I'm walking into the bathroom on a night of drinking humor. One-liners are always fantastic. Mm -hmm. What's one that you've really... No, 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 I mean, like, it's totally on the fly. I couldn't think of one right now. I just know that the way I say things when I'm hammered in the bathroom to other men, unbeatable. <laughs> Top tier content. No one will come close to my one one liner witty comments while this he's got like his an dick in his hand. 
thing. Can we, can somebody quote that? Like, whenever I'm drunk talking to men in the bathroom, that's, <laughs> I peak that's in comedy. Peak. <laughs> yeah. I didn't uh, say it was my peak. You know, it's like one of my many facets. I <laughs> think. I don't. Whatever. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, I, I think I was in the I was in the I came to the bathroom one time and there was this guy right next and I hate it when people talk I don't care if I'm drinking I hate it when somebody talks to me in the bathroom. Oh really? And there oh, was like sorry. this thumping. There's like this. <laughs> yeah, it was you. <laughs> there's this thumping going on above us and the guy looks over and he's just like, oh, somebody's having a lot of fun up there, huh? Am I right? And I'm I just like half laughed. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's funny. <laughs> You're like, I can't speak anymore. Going. I have to stand here longer. <laughs> Thank you for for like, I'm just gonna go, pretend I did and wash my hands and leave. Just make eye contact and hold it. Just don't look away. <laughs> Have you ever used the the phrase "Am I right?" Unironically. Oh, unironically. Oh, or is that something know. that is always said ironically? No, there's definitely people. There like they people. they want to confirm with you that they they are right about what they're telling you, like. Like yeah. I think I've asked that and then answered it with yes. I am, am I right? right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I am, am right. right. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know if that was also done ironically. Like the whole thing was a package deal of irony shipped in a single box, True. two days shipping free from Amazon or what. God, I love Amazon. Man, hey, poison potion, what's going on, dude? Uh, I don't I said Things are going pretty good. You know, my heart rate is uh, a constant 120. It's uh, is that normal? It's probably never gonna. It's probably never gonna go down. I feel like that's high. Do you okay. dream? Do you dream about? Oh, uh, I've dreamt dying? many times. <laughs> do you many, do you many, have many dreams? I, do I? I'm not. I've woken up in a cold sweat more times than I can count. Like, really? See, you know, yeah. See, engineer, like just fucking catching me in rev caves, and then just TB in me, and then all of a sudden 50, 50 people come in. You know, frames there, goodies there everybody's there and they're all just like goodbye man yeah, wow it's over. Yeah. are they it, actively not... hunting you well uh it was it was at its peak when i was doing wildy slayer and i had uh i had about three or four times where i was very very close to dying one of them was when uh was when they de-speared me at uh at the teleported bandit camp and i saw that come if i didn't see that coming i'd have been a dead man because 30 minutes prior to that sea engineer derrock bombed me at one hp which was also fun. Uh, so 30 minutes later, I go up, and then there's four people that they are dark bowing me and, and shit. I, it, it's, uh, but ever since then, you know, I haven't, I've only been in Wildy a couple of times. I haven't done Wildy Slayer, and the times that I've been in there have just been for God Wars Dungeon Keys. Hmm. God damn, dude. You've been, uh, have you been seeing, you've been seeing some crazy traction recently, right? I, I cannot believe how, how well the series took off like it, it blew my mind when i when i released episode one i was thinking well you know if it gets like if it gets like two thousand three thousand views that'd be awesome and it got that in a couple of days and i was thinking okay things are starting to slow down now it's like five thousand and then i don't know what happened all of a sudden just youtube was like hey i like that shit and they just put it everywhere and it got to fifty thousand within a couple of weeks and i was i was over the moon i couldn't believe it hell yeah you know, no, uh, nothing works better on YouTube than a good idea, and it's a really good idea. Well, it's like it's very compelling, you know. That's that's why I wanted to do it so badly because I I was thinking to myself, what is something that I would uh, be on YouTube, and if I saw it, I would want to watch it. And I thought, well, there were so many people that were making that were making hardcore series, and everybody would love when they went into the wilderness, like they. They, when they do Mage Arena 2 cape or the, when they would go into the Wildy for a dangerous clue step, they would love that shit. But it would be few and far between for some people, and some people just didn't want to do it anyway, regardless. Mm -hmm. So I thought, why don't I just make an entire series for that? You know, I, I just go into the wilderness all the time. And I thought, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to die right away, probably. Uh, and, <laughs> and everybody in episode one is, I give it two, maybe three episodes. And it almost did end in episode two. I was shitting my pants in episode two. That was horrifying when I got when I was getting PK'd at Wildy Altar. I I was I was so sure I was dead. When yeah. He, when he when he hit me for for a twenty with that rune crossbow, and I looked at his combat level, I said, "Well, this series is ending in episode two. Yeah, I, man. I couldn't. You've had so many like crazy close calls. I've cheated death more." Quite a few times. A it, couple it, chances in PvP situations in the wilderness. Pretty uh pretty crazy.
Yeah, I, sh I should have died to that Will the Alter guy, and I definitely, or I, I probably should have died to see Engineer too. Yeah, that uh, last was that the last video or the one before? Uh, the one, the one before where he caught he caught <laughs> me at uh at great that graveyard place, and I I thought I was fine because it, that's why I didn't bring any extra supplies. Like, oh, it's a graveyard, it's singles combat, we're gonna be fine. And then I saw him log in, and. I, I had just come out of combat and he threw that teleblock on me and I thought, oh God. This Dude, is he it. caught so many freeze. I couldn't fucking believe oh, it. I was like, I was getting so pissed. I, I was like, bro, it. he's so fucked. Oh God. <laughs> Didn't he and, catch and, it like at the last step before you were yeah, safe? He, he did. I thought I was safe because it was three, we were three combat levels apart and it, we were at, we were at four wilderness or something. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm good. And then he caught that last freeze and I thought, you motherfucker. Yeah. I was so pissed. I thought that was it. I for sure thought, oh, oh, he's done. This is not. So it looks like, I mean, a lot of, uh, a lot of people, I mean, I don't know if you've had, did you have video making experience prior to this? Because like, you have two videos before your episode I, one. I downloaded Premiere Pro after all the footage for episode one was finished. And started learning editing at that point. Hell yeah. That's the yeah, shit that, I like to hear. <laughs> before that, before that, I was using Windows Movie Maker. Like, I don't know if you've seen it, but I had a, a RuneScape radio station video that I made. Yeah, I and see it there on there. Fire, yeah, there was a fire effect on that. That was the only fire effect that my, that entire editor offered was that one. So that was the one I got to use. Um, yeah. But yeah, I downloaded Premiere Pro after the first episode's footage was done. And that first episode, even though it has probably the least amount of like higher editing and they didn't really have any cutscenes, it took it definitely took the longest. It took a long time learning all of the ins and outs of Premiere Pro and and trying to figure out how to uh, do it efficiently. There were when I, for the longest time, what I was doing to trim the videos, I was cutting them. And then I would like move move it on the trim. I would move it over, and then I would take the clip and then move it all the way back to where, like to like get rid of the gap. And then yeah. I was watching a video, and somebody said, "All right, so we're just gonna click this and then hit the delete button to like put these together." And like, yeah, no way! I wasted yeah. so much time. Yeah, <laughs> there's actually not a good way to do that, by the way, in uh, Vegas, which is what I'm still unfortunately currently using. Dude, I'd, I'm excited. Uh, this this Shit. week, I'm teaching Nine Rain and Settled how to use Premiere. And I wait, yeah, when's that happening? Uh, whenever. I think I'm I'm gonna teach him a few things today. So okay, let I'm me excited. know. So what what's the better one? It's it's Premiere, is it? Yes. Or okay. Unequivocally, I think it's a little more expensive, but it's definitely worth it. Yeah. As someone who has used, like, if you're if you want to do professional work and you're gonna be spending a lot of time in an editor especially if you're going to be making money from what you're doing. If it's just a hobby, meh. I used Windows Movie Maker for four years before I bought something. So like mm -hmm. you can get away with doing whatever you want to do with the cheap stuff. But if, if like if you're planning on making money with your stuff, just get pr Premiere <laughs> to yeah, be honest. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's worth yeah, I've it. I've liked it. It, it, it. After you learn the ins and outs, I mean, it's very intuitive and quick once you learn how to do it. Yeah, it, it becomes second nature really quick. I don't know. I love Premiere, dude. My um, my main problem with Vegas is performance issues. It's not that bad of... I mean, I, I could probably edit at least twice as fast. But anytime I compound movements, if I'm dragging something and zooming in or d it, whatever the case may be, closing a window and I'm already like scrubbing along the... Like, just any two actions or more, it freezes, stops, sometimes crashes the program. Yeah, I it was just pulling my hair out when you were showing me shit at your apartment, like the last one of the last episodes you made. I was like, right? How do you and then, do this? This is fucked yeah. up. Yeah, so it just chugs like super slow. Yeah. Uh, so it, it definitely. I mean, I will probably it, if I make two videos on Premiere, the time that I will save will probably pay for the cost of the whole thing for a year at least. Yeah, How much just is Vegas? time saved. So how much is Vegas? the vegas uh software it was a one-time payment oh it's a so, one-time okay so yeah, yeah it's gonna be which is why i went with it i was like ah, eh, like I'm, subscriptions are stupid i'm tired of paying out mm -hmm. the ads every year or month or whatever the case may be and i went with vegas because i could just pay once and be done with it but and it was 
I want to say it was like seven hundred bucks, seven fifty. Yeah, oh, fuck yeah. that. Yeah, speaking of uh, professional work, making money off things, can you give us the background of this uh, this this radio school, this radio background that you have? Because everybody knows that you've got like that golden voice. Like everybody is is always coming to you for that, and and you've well, got this experience with it. What, what's up with that? First of all, I will say that a good a good mic sound quality setup it works absolute wonders like if you've got a if, if you just get yourself a preamp for a microphone it it's gonna sound, make a microphone sound way better mm -hmm. uh but but uh, uh people did tell me before i went into radio i used to work at a gas station and uh it, it was a quick trip and that's uh, god know, i love quick trip it, yeah, it's it's a really really good gas station, but it was a gas station. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Guys, you gotta trust me. This was top of the line gas station shit here. I, it, this wasn't no fucking. You know, Wait, do people know what state that. you're in? Uh, yeah, yeah. I live in Wisconsin. People are okay. very aware of. Cool. But I don't like beer. I actually hate it. I I've never enjoyed beer. Is that a Wisconsin uh, thing? Wait. Oh no, yeah, we we're alcoholics, man. We love beer so much. Like, <laughs> okay, I was like, I don't know how we got here. Yeah. Anyway, but sorry. I, anyway, with, radio with the, with the radio thing, yeah. Um, so people said I should be in radio, and uh, I said okay. Uh, so I, I didn't go to college because uh, I was not good in school, and I hated reading, and yeah. So I I told my mom, I said, hey, I. I want to go into radio and she said you should do a radio school there's one in uh there's one nearby in a town in, in a town nearby so I said okay I'll do it I'll do that so it was an eight-week course that I went to and after I got uh, after I got done uh I live in a very small town so 4,000 people so everybody knows about everything and somebody that I knew that worked at our local radio station immediately said hey you're going to school for radio uh after you're done we'll hire you so nice. uh yeah that, that was great I, was, I, didn't right. even have to go, I, I didn't even have to go for an application i just went there like okay you're here now so you're working here so i worked there for a, a few years and i loved i did like it but i was the morning show host which is awesome for a country station <laughs> yeah not awesome don't like country I, music no i i do not care for there's maybe <laughs> four country songs that i like newer country songs i like older country but we didn't okay. play older country. We played newer. Fair. I can't stand anything made after like 2003. Yeah. Like it's not. <laughs> I feel about not even too. like close to new. <laughs> yeah. I, don't get me wrong. If you were at a dance party and and chicken fried comes on, I'm I'm there, man. I'm fucking. I'm yeah. Zach Brown gets a pass on some of his shit. To be fair. Yes. Yes. Not yeah, a lot of their funny. shit. Good. Uh, that's a good sound. They make good music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good tune. So you um, were there doing a morning show. Like, would you? What would you talk yeah. about on this? I I would just I I swear I would just bullshit half the time. I, yeah. I, so most people on morning show for country station they, they would say something about the artist, but God, I didn't care. <laughs> so I would just find some local Florida man uh, taking his shopping cart uh, into a daycare or some shit like that. I found a Florida man story every single day and would just talk about that. Uh, and we didn't just have the country station too. We had a we had a music variety station that was more eighties nineties. Uh, early 2000s and that was awesome i got to be on there sometimes but that was all voice recorded yeah so okay. it's, it wasn't as enjoyable and everything on radio is voice recorded unless it's a morning show that's usually the only thing that's live hmm. yeah. interesting so, after a while i just said you know i want to try something different and i'd had the high risk hardcore idea <clears throat> for quite a while because i loved the wilderness and i loved high or i loved hardcore iron man but the two didn't mesh and then i said or do they but then I, I meshed them. Yeah. That's good, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, uh, when you started doing radio, did you, I mean, did you practice sounding more like a radio host? Is that something that you honed your craft in? Not, I practiced getting rid of uh, my nasally Wisconsin accent because we, we're nasally up here, you know. Uh, yeah, I, I, we we kind of start to talk like this if you get a little bit more up north. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It moves it, it, up it, and forward. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I didn't sound like that before radio, but there, even southern Wisconsin, we have a little bit of it. So I had to do these voice exercises to try and make my voice sound a little less nasally. Uh, when I first started radio, I was overbearing. 
I, I would be just the most generic uh, uh, 105.9. We're going to be going around uh, listening to some more music here. My, my teacher said, stop. Don't do that. Really? That's funny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I said, you got a good voice. Don't do that. Just, just talk. Just talk. And so I and so I did that instead. And uh, uh, at first, you know, I've, I'm really bad at thinking of what to say. My mind just off tracks all the time. So I'm in the middle of a sentence and I just wait, what? What, what was I talking about? <laughs> and that, that's terrible for live radio because you don't want dead air. So I've got this whole diarrhea thing that I do where it's called <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Let me explain. Let me explain. Nah, let's go on to the next thing. <laughs> Actually, we're gonna save you from that. We're moving on. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, I want to. I want to hear about this. No, no. Yeah, bro. Uh, hey, uh, uh, yeah. Dig man, yourself out of that one. I heard you got an AGS recently. How's that? That was pretty good, huh? Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> explain. Oh, diarrhea. Okay. It, it, okay. First of all, it's called diarrhea of the mouth. Oh. And what it is, that is, sounds worse, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what you do is you basically, you, you just, if, if something goes awry, you have a backup, right? So, so, so you, it, all of a sudden you say you're talking about something, your mind goes blank. And then all of a sudden you can just, you can just say gibberish for the next couple of lines. As long as it's not dead air, all the person is going to think is, is that, huh, must have, must have missed what he said. So I can be going. Oh yeah, he was around back in 1985. And then, uh, and, and then we uh, go on to the next song, and then boom, you just throw it out there. Huh. It, it's better than it's better than just. I mean, and you can do it better. I, I can't really do it on the spot, but um, it's better than just in a 1980. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. Next song. We've all seen those like news reporter fails where they just they stop and then just fold slowly. Oh it's yeah. Just it's it's, silent. it's 10 times 10 times worse on camera. 10 times worse because you can hide it when you don't have the cameras on you because it, it, it's just easier. But yeah, when you're on camera and they can see the expression, they can see the fear in your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> That's know. what it is. Yeah. 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 Uh, I love when uh I love seeing those news reports where they're like they're talking to somebody in the studio and they're like now to, to johnson who's on scene and, and there's like and he's like sitting there with the mic like yeah thanks for tuning in like for, for like a few it's, seconds it's even better when you can hear the white noise and like a little like, <laughs> yeah. like some distant it's call. really bad on like cnn where it's like international and the delay is like 15 seconds and they'll like start interrupting each other because like the, the conversation yeah. just can't happen yeah yeah, the the awesome. best one I saw was when they, they went to one guy on, on a report or whatever, and and he he had just cut to him, and he, all of a sudden he's just like, fucking B just bit me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd seen that. And then it goes like, like thank you, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you know, it would be a lot. Of, it would be so stressful to work in news. So damn stressful. Because I, I, news, I can't dude. hold a laugh in sometimes. They're, they're, and, and you see it sometimes where they – They've just told a really banger joke and they have to go live after that. And the guy's just laughing his ass off. He's like, I'm sorry, you can't experience some of the th things that we joke about here. But, and then he just, he's losing himself. I, yeah, I couldn't do that. I couldn't hold in a laugh either. Yeah. I, uh, no, I, I couldn't, but I wouldn't, I don't know. I feel like those are the best, most redeeming parts of the boring ass thing that is a 24 hour news cycle. So I would yeah. I would live for those moments. I'd be like, when am I gonna crack my coworkers? <laughs> They're going down today. That's the best, I would be a dude. horrible person to work with, probably if you were trying to like tell the news. Any but serious place, to, dude. Yeah. Anything serious is a terrible thing to be a part of. I, I love bombing <laughs> stuff. Like if wow. people have a plan and they want it to go accordingly, I don't usually. <laughs> I get <laughs> My plan is we, to assure that the plan does not happen how they want yeah. it to, to plan out. I don't yeah. like that. <clears throat> uh, the, the, news, the news in general seems like it'd be a terrible place to... You just with how bad the news has been the past three years, to, to work at a 24-hour news station and just be depressed all the time, I'd be looking for something to laugh at. You know, the weird thing about that is I read something by a dude... It, G.K. Chesterton was writing back and like, this was either, 
I think it was like the very early 1900s or late 1800s and was talking about like it was about that time so he said that news and this was all just written news started becoming really sensational ads started popping up on like storefronts and around cities and stuff and uh he was saying how uh I guess just how toxic it was and and uh what a bad move it was by the industry and i was like bro if you could only see where oh, we've God. gone holy shit yeah like there's pro someone's probably just getting an ad, ad shoved down their throat right now by youtube right now <laughs> or you know whatever the case may be that uh and then twitch I don't, I'm sure you guys have oh, seen. God. Yeah, yeah, dude, what's that about? Ads thing? That, Shit. That's such a bad idea for <laughs> a terrible. live situation. I, I can't. I saw, I saw a meme about that where you, you, got, you guys have seen the Happy Feet Wombo Combo, you, you know, that famous uh, melee yeah. video. And then all of a sudden, right before he goes to the, the big scenes, just like cuts to oh, gamer fuel with G fuel. Yep. And then it just, yep. it, it, yeah, it's, it's terrible. It looks like a terrible idea. And it, not only that, but I'm such a forgetful person. The only way you can prevent it is if you do an ad yourself at right. certain points. So if I forget to do it, then somebody might miss something, you know, and is, I know I will. Is running an ad yourself, is that a partner thing? Uh, or can you do that as a uh, affiliate? I, I, I'm not, I'm not sure. I think I hardly, it's a partner thing because I can't run mine. I can't run ads. I turn are, my are, ads are off. Are either of you guys, are you not partnered, Jimmy? No. What about you, PP? I am. I'm. Yeah. I am. I. I. But I've never. I've never run ad. I know there's. There is the option. You, there's the button right there that says run thirty second ad. And what it does now, before this whole debacle, what it would do is it would prevent anybody coming into the stream, uh, from seeing an ad before the stream would come on for like an right. hour. Yeah. The pre roll ads. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So it's super shitty for like for people that aren't partnered because then they have nothing that they can do. So if a, a cool moment happens and an ad comes on, they're out of luck. God, that sucks. I heard yeah. of a there is a plugin because everyone uses ad blocker. Like that's mm -hmm. like the what everyone uses. Apparently, uh, I don't know if this is true. I haven't tried it myself, but I guess there's a a, th a thing called U Block Origin that actually blocks the Twitch ads. It's able to oh shit find it. Yeah. Really? So mm. might have to try that out because I know for I, for mine I people are like dude really wanted to support you like I fucking I, I make sure ad blocks off when I'm watching your stuff like on on Twitch and I'm like YouTube yeah keep them off on Twitch yeah. fucking block all of them dude I don't right, yeah I don't care about you guys doing you want to support at it. if you if you want to support us if you're listening to this send us money don't <laughs> watch <laughs> stupid ads yeah that's just, that is nothing yeah I yeah. don't do that to yourself. I would rather you not support me than like force yourself to watch ads that you weren't going to watch in the hopes that it helps me out. Unless you're a fucking psychopath and you like watching ads or something. Yeah, I mean, by, like, by all means. feel free, but I wouldn't do it for either of these two guys. I don't want anyone to do, pull that move for me. <laughs> I, mm. I mean, I don't know if I, are we allowed to tell people to use ad blocker? That just, I don't know. It's oh, never, gosh, that, that might, that might i don't know twitch anything where i am in the gray area about with twitch i just i just drop it because yeah. there have been people banned for much less much less and i i don't know it it kind of feels like you're walking on eggshells sometimes with twitch it does well i'm sure that's any industry where you're beholden to uh where you represent in part the image of the platform whether that's yeah. tv or radio or twitch but yeah twitch uh they uh let's just say they're a little inconsistent well we'll put it that way mm -hmm. um and it all it seems to roll a certain way every time uh that i don't even need to mention and everyone knows what i'm talking about but yeah it's pretty inconsistent did you see that uh, tweet from uh i think i think it was facebook gaming or something about music stuff did you did you see no. that they were like they put out a tweet and it was something like uh you know what everyone loves music when we in the in the background and we've worked we we're working with the music people so that you can play music in the background without any strikes any no bands way. and like i'm thinking that means nothing to 
to everybody and, and you're painting it to just be like they're they're just trying to like build off of this uh downfall like the the one week span of people freaking out about dmca which yeah. also what the fuck happened there no i haven't yeah, even I've heard anything no of dmca since that like two days of like people yeah, being like just... I, I was trying to like I was trying to button or you know buckle down and be like okay no DMCA music and then I would go to other streams you know I go to Alfie's stream he's playing Green Day and I'm thinking why yeah, am I doing this so I just went back to playing copyrighted music people just fucking panic dude it was crazy but I mean I don't know yeah I'm... they can't stop all of us <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah dude right. my yeah, I have we all go clips down together my I have, I have clips from like 2017 2018 that have like uh acdc on them and stuff and they're not getting mm -hmm. tagged with anything i don't understand how it's working no they one knows what's going on though actually they could oh 100 yeah. percent, they could mm -hmm. but like everyone freaked out about it but i think dmca like dipped their toes in like oh we could let's let's strike that one and then they saw the chaos and they're like i actually don't want anything to do with that that's well, what, <laughs> nah, what probably happened is they didn't make any money off of it that's right it. that is they're like oh twitch, yep. twitch streamers don't make any money we we got we got we're not we're milking a empty cow like this <laughs> yeah. ah and th that's move, why it's move along. let's go back to the real music industry yeah <laughs> yeah we'll over that's some why, more people yeah that's why it's been going on for so long on twitch and nothing was said about it because there's no money in it but youtube on the other hand you know you play 10 seconds of a song in a 20 minute video lucky you you get to claim all the money for that yeah. video yeah yeah it's ridiculous pretty insane god i love it yeah Man, uh, do, do we did the by we I mean the public I guess did we ever find out what happened with Doctor Disrespect Did that ever clear where Twitch released that. I have no idea He was my hot take day one and I still think it's true Um, af like it was the day after uh I think Mixer announced that they're going bye bye and mm. so Shroud and Ninja became free agents and Twitch knew that they could pick up shroud again and that pretty much most people who were watching dr disrespect would just go ahead and stay and watch shroud then they just booted him off for some bullshit reason that they've been sitting on for the past year and a half but they couldn't afford to take the economic hit because he was like their biggest star on twitch at the time i think it was totally just a tactical move because they've always hated the guy because he calls them on their bullshit to their face and they couldn't do anything about it yeah, I yeah that's kind of, that's kind of uh, the just the biggest problem with twitch is their lack of communication you you could get kicked and you just don't they're not going to tell you a thing and they don't have to but it <laughs> like you gotta be you gotta have some communication with your community or else nobody's just gonna trust nobody's gonna trust you yeah but mm. i mean the whole the whole mixer deal too i mean what did you guys think about mixer shutting down uh, I think Mixer dropped the ball like a year ago when they could have. I mean, they brought on all this talent and then didn't do shit with the platform. It's mm -hmm. it has no browsability, and that's really every like if you go to, for example, Instagram, um, by browsability, I mean something to scroll through. They have both their like Instagram, and then they have feeds across the top that are stories that you scroll through. Everything is browsable. YouTube, everything's browsable, so you can just sit there and have content shoved down your throat just like channel surfing um mm. and for in order for a platform to be well to work in 2020 it has to be browsable and they just didn't do anything and twitch is also still by the way dropping the ball on this so yeah like the the only reason twitch is around is because they were the first in the game they're not doing really anything like Dif yeah what, what the fuck have they done in 15 years everyone who's working there now is just standing on the shoulders of justin tv they've done literally fuck all for like 15 yeah. years they're just kind of that, damage controlling that's the problem i think with i was kind of sad to hear mixer shut down because twitch seriously needs some competition I, that was yeah absolutely yeah, if they don't have any competition they can just do whatever the shit they want and nobody's going to be able to say anything because well where am i gonna go you know nowhere Facebook gaming? Yeah. You kidding? It could have yeah. just taken a better team at Microsoft running Mixer to change the game for streaming, but they fucking dropped the ball hardcore. I don't know if they were just out of touch and they don't understand the arena, but like, come on, you got it's Microsoft. Like they, they had Microsoft money, which they absolutely threw at the program mm -hmm. and at the streamers and talent. And then 
then just what the hell? I, I it's not it's not that hard when you have that kind of resources. Maybe it is, and maybe that's why they failed. But I can't. I I don't know. I think something just went sideways that shouldn't have gone sideways. I feel like it's just the same situation with the YouTube. Like no one's gonna rival YouTube, which really no. sucks because there should be one. That would be awesome. The, the one, if there's one thing that I don't understand about YouTube, is why they won't let creators have a channel that they can customize to a much greater degree. If you want to keep for example, Jimmy, if you want to keep uploading RuneScape content, but also have created good space to create different content, you're forced to just slam it in a, these are my videos by upload date. Fuck yeah. me. And so people who are, what if you could have literally like, I want a section over here that's all my RuneScape stuff and a section over here that's not RuneScape stuff. You still subscribe to just Jimmy. Yeah. That would be game changing for so many content creators who can do more than one thing. But you don't really survive on YouTube right now unless you're you already have 3000 or sorry, 3 million subscribers or you got lucky or whatever the case may be. You need a niche like really badly to work on YouTube because of the way that people search for content. Mm -hmm. They want their they want their poison pee pee or they want their Jimmy or whatever. But like you have no way as a creator to be like, well, I want to create this other project, but I don't want it to muddy up what I'm doing over here. It'd be like if you were trying to create a second fucking cartoon and the only thing you could do was take up your 4 p.m. slot of DBZ once a week and just throw in a non-DBZ thing. Everyone would be like, what the fuck? I guess I don't watch on Thursdays. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's true. That's a good way of uh, looking at it. I think another big problem with YouTube is... Uh, their their need or want for you to upload videos more as much as possible or more often because i i see i think i think that the people that are able to get views uh and also upload often are the ones that get promoted more rather than people Absolutely. that are putting out more quality videos mm -hmm. right right and that's that's a problem yeah the whole pla i mean the whole platform is propped up on what you're selling YouTube is selling their uh, viewer attention to ad agencies. That's their product. Mm -hmm. So the more clicks you can garner and, and ads you can roll, the more product they have to sell. So like they really don't care other than that. And there's mm -hmm. probably like a pretty low bar for content at which people will click, they'll watch a certain amount, and they'll keep coming back. So we just throw it out there you know whatever the case may be if i mean yeah so you can actually like if you wanted to play the youtube game you could just shit out a you know three videos a week kind of half-assed with a decent you know like creative idea wrapped up with a good sellable thumbnail and title and just mm -hmm. kill it on youtube and people do that yeah. all over the place you know we're i think I speak for all of us when I say we're playing a very different game that seems very unrewarding and unfulfilling to me. I'm not interested in doing something like that. But you still have to you have to make certain concessions to make it on the platform doing the kind of content that we're doing with you know like high production value, low upload rate kind of stuff. Yeah. And then the length of the videos too, you know, it's always got to hit that over 10 minute mark so that uh, which I mean, they're changing like by the way or or did very they, recently yeah they changed it to eight eight minutes right that'll be the new but number it still mm -hmm. screws over like animators that I yeah mean, they have the worst it's terrible it's awful dude i mean, mean they're they're trying yeah, to animation yeah god they're trying they got their like one and a half minute thing that took a month to work on mm -hmm. and you're just like ah well fuck you you know yeah I remember I was talking to uh, Gizzy Gaza. He's an old RuneScape video maker. And then he he was in that group of people who, uh, in like 2010, 2011, all the big RuneScape video makers made the transition from RuneScape to Minecraft. And like a dozen of them blew up. And they all got to like 2 million, 3 million subscribers. And he was one of them. Uh, and then Minecraft. There was a 
RuneScape guys who did that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there was wow. Sky does Minecraft. Um, what? Really? He was RuneScape? Jin the Demon, dude. Sky the Kid. He was like one of the wow. OG RuneScape video makers. He was a head like he was like my favorite creator, and now he's like a crazy, crazy lunatic rap guy who's <laughs> just like causing a commotion on Twitter all the time. It's really? really I, don't, I don't know anything about him. Yeah, he's yeah. I. It, it's weird, but there was a bunch of them. Uh, Anti Venom. I don't know if you've heard of him. I've heard of him. Yeah. Yeah. He was. He was. RuneScape. Um, there was a. There was a. A big group of them, and they all blew up. And then Minecraft. You know, it was in Minecraft's like prime when everyone started playing it when it first came out. Uh, and then they all had their reign for like, I don't know, two or three years. And then Minecraft slowly died down, and so did their channels. And then a lot of them went uh, and, and just either stopped completely or found a new way to do things. And then uh, Gizzy Gaza went to animation um, and he found himself like very recently in like one of the worst spots ever because not only uh, like his animations were getting millions of views. They still do uh, every time he posts one and uh, they are all or the majority of them that go viral are under, you know, five minutes or whatever. So he'll get three million views on it and make less revenue than we make on you know a 15 20 minute video and it's fucked oh. up dude like it is so fucked up and, and he has an animator he's got an editor that he pays like he got so screwed over uh and then he tried to post minecraft videos again like what he started as and they weren't getting pushed to the algorithm at all so he had to go do that on a separate channel and of course new channel not going to get put in the suggested thing because even though he has 3 million people under him, like that doesn't matter. It's a new channel, no association. Uh, so there's just so much wrong with, you know, having like this platform to, to be a creator and all these people know, and then suddenly they just decide that you don't fit the algorithm anymore because you're not doing what they want you to do. It's kind of fucked up. It's a little fucked up. Um, yeah, I've noticed it's so hard to break away from what you are doing. You know, if you have a if you have a niche, if you have if you have a genre you're in, and you want to break away from that, the only person I've ever been able to see do it successfully, uh, from my perspective, is Dunkey. Probably when he quit mm -hmm. League and went to Variety, and he just blew up after that. Yeah. Yep. Mm. I I always look to him for the, for that stuff too, because like. I remember one day he he just came out with a video and just said, I'm never making a league video. That's over. Mm. Go watch my other stuff. I put a ton of work into it. Yeah. And people to, did. To be, to be fair, though, all of his content was him. It had, it, he, he, even his league videos, mm. he could have been playing any game, but people came back to watch Donkey. Yeah. And, you know, and so like it was part of the way that he designed his content and his humor and all that was. And, you know, maybe he didn't, like, design it. He wasn't, like, trying to do anything. That's just the videos that Dunkey wanted to make. It, it, it turned out that he wasn't, like, uh, speed-running RuneScape quests and then decided to go variety. Yeah. Where, like, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. I think my audience probably might not be on board with that. Like, they came for a very, very specific thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. <clears throat> Yeah. By the way, does it do that speedrunning RuneScape content? I'll talk to you later about it. I can't. I can't talk to you about it on here, but I know who will be doing it. Okay, I think I know. Well, uh, uh, yeah, let me know. Yeah, yeah. and the funny. <laughs> I've been loop, thinking man. about that lately because I so I played Breath of the Wild yesterday on stream, um, and we'll probably keep playing Breath of the Wild, and that might be a game that I actually choose to make some videos on because I like the game enough, and might like maybe do some uh speed running ask content or i don't i don't know if i could ever be that good at it but it could be fun um and i love the videos on youtube i love interesting ideas it's uh, you know, like where you just are like you know what? i'm gonna break the game like they didn't the guys who made the game didn't want this to happen i'm gonna do it <laughs> that's my favorite kind of thing that you can do in a game um and there's a lot of that in in that game and like the speed running esque kind of stuff all you're trying to do is ruin someone's thing that they made and i love it mm -hmm. you love no, ruining I think, things i think that's a, 
actually <laughs> <laughs> that's my thing no, i just love yes. ruining I everything i can about that later <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Did you guys ever run into like just a just a huge glitch when you were a kid and just having your mind be absolutely blown? Because I did one time. It was it was a very special experience. Yes, I I can think of one exactly right now. What's yours? Okay, M mine was I was playing Jack and Daxter two. Good or game. Jack two. Uh, yeah, on the on the PlayStation two, and I was I was on the uh, I was on the hovercraft riding through the city, uh -huh. ran into a wall. And my my craft went through the wall, and I was just in this black void. But I could still drive my car. Bro, bro, and that happened to me too. <laughs> no way, seriously. <laughs> I beat that game, and I've I've gotten a glitch. Like I didn't end up in a black void, but like hit a thing, and then got shoved underground. It was just like Meh! with the oh, hover my... fucking thing. Yes, yes. That I, I was I was having the time of my life, and then I accidentally hopped out and fell and died. And I I tried to do it for the next hour. I could not do it again. Yeah. yeah, I actually beat that game. It's one of the few single player games I've played through and beat. Jack one I, and two, I, and I, I don't know if I beat three. I beat three before I beat two because two has this one part where you have to go around collecting on the on like a on this water board thing, and you or you gotta like collect all these little orbs in, yes. in like a certain amount of time. That was that was impossible. I couldn't yeah, do it. I, it's I like the spiral months. flight levels. Yes, yes. Like, I, I couldn't. I could not do it, and and so I. I, I ended up finishing Jack three and spoilers, by the way, at the end of Jack three, Deimos dies. You find out that Deimos is Jack's dad and, okay. and you, and you, uh, and you end up, and that, but, but like he has a flashback of when Jack was a kid. And since I hadn't beaten two yet, I just, I didn't know that that kid was me. So I thought I had a little brother. So after oh. three was done, I thought I had to go and find my little brother. I'm like, wait, the game's over. What about my little brother? Oh god, that's, that's funny. funny. Yeah. Man. I love glitches in games, dude. I um fucking thrive off of it. Do you, do you have a good glitch that you can think of, Jimmy? Well, not not a specific like instance glitch. Like I've experienced them obviously, but I remember um all through like middle school, I was fascinated with uh Call of Duty 4 glitches and like I guess it was earlier than that, but in multiplayer there would be certain things you could do with like strafe jumping rpg jumps and stuff that would like get you up sniper spots getting cool sniper spots or like glitch on the map like i remember uh on, oh, on a map yeah. called crossfire mm. and yep. there yeah and there was you would you would get above to like the third story of like this broken down building at the edge I of the map what you're talking and you about. would walk above the uh the barbed wire because there was an invisible wall and you would walk above it and you would go like all the way around to the other side of the map uh like jumping on the fucking rooftops like assassin's creed and it would be like the sickest shit like you'd be up there uh on uh, yeah on like a normal game mode and people would be like where the fuck did i get shot from and they'd yeah, see the, the, the kill dope. cam and you'd be on the, the roof uh that that was crazy and then i remember uh the freeze jumps were the craziest things ever this was a ps3 only thing and you would like go into the settings and do this weird shit. Uh, you'd be in old school mode on Call of Duty 4, which let you uh, have more health and jump higher. And you would jump in the air after you did the setting, and your guy would freeze in midair. He'd freeze. And then while you did that, someone would come up next to you and start knifing you. And since you had double health, it would do a lot of damage to you. They'd knife you, let you regen, knife you, let you regen like 30 times. And when you got back into the game, your guy would shoot a million feet in the fucking air. And normally it would break the game so much that you'd be on this like invisible platform, like 200 feet in the fucking sky. And like no one could do anything to you. Like you'd be unstoppable. And it was like coolest shit I'd ever experienced in my life, dude. Just fucking walking above like God, like seeing everybody. Pretty great. It was, mine it was, mine was, I was at my buddy's birthday party. And we were playing Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 on the N64. And we were having a trick, like a big trick contest. I don't know, whatever game mode they had where it would like run a certain amount of time, you had to make the biggest combo. And I, I, I was like, go, there's this huge fucking stair or like a, this big drop off with the rail above it on this one level where they start you. And I went to go ollie over and do this like big ass drop, like leap of faith kind of thing and got stuck in the rail. And so my guy was just perpetually falling. 
And so I just started <laughs> spamming like kickflip and it just kept racking up multipliers. And so what we ended up doing was we just, we put the controller like face down. So it was holding a spin and then like also pressing like, I don't know, kickflip. So it was just racking up this huge fucking like triple, like, I, I don't know, millions of points times some hundreds of whatever combos. And we just went outside and played football. And, we, <laughs> and, and then we came back like a couple hours later and then like, all ate out of it or whatever and landed and the the number just broke across the screen and there was like wingdings and shit and the and it was amazing it was incredible god i miss those no games dude i won one. by the way <laughs> you, you, won? No, you mean are you telling me that nobody else could beat that what uh, that was pretty good damn uh well now there's like uh right. sorry what are you gonna say uh, oh no dude, go ahead go ahead i was just talking like the now people like make mods that purposely like break the game and uh i i don't know i know i've talked about him a few times because he I, I look up to him for editing stuff but a dude named bed bananas he has this uh video he put out pretty recently about red dead redemption 2 and he had a buddy mod the game to do things that he wanted and like it just broke the game so many times i think he said that uh either that one or the hitman video he he did he he crashed the game like 200 times during recording uh just to get like the shots he wanted and the glitches and the mods and like the crazy wacky things that happen is just like pure comedy i fucking love glitches dude it is so funny to see things like spaz out or go go wacky wild i don't know yeah that's that's the one thing that our game doesn't have like any of because yeah. obviously yeah. it was such a big intense like with so much on the line with how much people put into these accounts in a multiplayer if there's a glitch or a bug it's gone like that well did you see that that, that clip gas glitches oh fuck that <laughs> well those are extremely obscure yeah and then get handled honestly quite quickly like they're still catastrophic yeah. but i i enjoyed the shit out of rendy's video of breaking a runescape account where he 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 made it so you could not yeah, didn't I he like bond it for like years? Yeah, right. That was the only way it was a fail safe so that you couldn't get teleported, but then he bonded it for years. But yeah, I, I loved that. Like I didn't think you could do anything along those lines. Yeah, there was awesome. one time where I was with my friend and we were doing uh we were doing Heroes Quest. And I don't know how, but he ended up getting locked inside of that one place where you're supposed to go and shoot somebody with an arrow. I forgot to give him the key or something. And he, he could not leave the room. He had to home teleport. <laughs> huh. If he had used his home teleport before there, he would have had to stay there for 30 minutes before he could get out of there. There was no way for him to leave. Interesting. Well, there's a lot of new... Yeah. Uh, recently, my, my buddy Thinly started playing, and he was doing Scorpion Catcher. And I don't know how the fuck this happened. Uh, it was with the new death mechanics. Like, the, like Death has like his room that you go in to like, collect his shit. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Thinly died while doing Scorpion Catcher on, on White Wolf Mountain going through. <laughs> he got fucking mauled by wolves. So he lost the scorpion cage and he had gotten one scorpion. He needed to get the other two. He lost the cage. We spent like three hours trying to figure out how to get the cage back because there was no way to like talk to an NPC to get it back. There was no way to go find it on the ground where he died. And it turned out that you had to go through like three extra dialogue options to get access to death's like screen, this new screen he had. But if I didn't know about that thing, we would have been there all day fucking trying to figure out how to get this cage back. So like this game also has so much content wrapped up from like a decade that doesn't like perfectly align with new updates that come out with like death mechanics and stuff that can honestly ruin the game for new players. <laughs> Cause I, the I death mechanics are a little, they're so death, death mechanics. What are you guys? What are you guys talking about? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't know I anything mean, about the, that. That is the nice thing about playing a hardcore. You're like death mechanics. There's only one. <laughs> yeah, Wait, there was a death update. What <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But no, I, I know what you're saying. Like the spaghetti code of this game when it's been out for well, and you can't even say it's been out for 20 years because you know there was a break. Um, but yeah, I mean some of these quests. I mean you look at Legends Quest. Oh my, that shit needs to be updated so badly. I hate it, that. Quest. It, you go through all these dialogues. It was like, you nimbly crawl over the, over the rock. 
yeah, why? Why'd you tell me that? I don't, I, I know that. I'm quiet. Why? Yeah. I hope Jagex lets me rewrite Rad Catchers, dude. I would love that. <laughs> That'd be pretty great. They acknowledged rewrite it. Rewrite Rad Catchers slash delete it. Yeah. They acknowledged <laughs> that I said that. And they they also acknowledged that I said for free, which now I'm regretting. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll still do uh, it. I'm, I'm I'd a man be of my word. Over that if I was enter game company, like <laughs> Dude, they literally, all those quests were fucking written by unpaid interns. I'm pretty sure. Like, like I'm, I, I read, I talked to a, a wiki guy, and he said that uh, all, like most of the people who wrote like the 2004, 2005 quests were were like college students who were interning at Jagex for programming. And mm -hmm. a lot of them were like unfinished or just kind of abandoned storylines because these interns went and got a fucking job somewhere or stopped working there or, you know, anything. Yeah. And so people had to like pick up the scraps and like publish something. So I'm guessing Rat Catchers was one of those <laughs> that just like no one really fucking looked at it and just kind of <laughs> put it in the game. It was a joke. They're just like, they'll never, they'll never. <laughs> yeah. Tell me that's how one small favor got put in the end. Like it's just this fucking calls. He was just having a pissy week, and he's like, Dude. "I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make everybody's time terrible." God, yeah. fuck that guy. <laughs> it's actually not a bad quest though. It's got good dialogue. I will yeah, say. Yeah, that's a funny one. I don't think a a kid wrote that one. I think that are, was a real one. Are you interested in any other games other than RuneScape? It it sapped away all of my interest of everything. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I used. I used to play other games. Like, I think I played League before this, but then I realized that it was destroying my life. Wait, are you? You're also a, a Yasuo main. Shh, don't, don't, tell, don't tell them that. Bro. <laughs> no, I, zero subscribers tomorrow. Bro. Dude, you still have that video up. I don't know what it is, but know, you, you have a video called Yasuo I Montage. What's I worked that about? so hard on that shit. I, I had to keep it up just for pride reasons. I That's hilarious, dude. The amount yeah, of yeah. Actually, the the amount of RuneScape players who are secret Yasuo mains is actually what does that I'll, mean? I'll invite you to the club. Like, it's what does that mean? Kind of disgusting. It means a nine reigns of Yasuo. He's a he's a. What's Yasuo the significance? Is that like the overpowered thing that? Do you want, do you want to tell? Do you want me to tell you that the champion, the list of champions for which I had Smurf accounts just to one trick those champions? I want you to explain to me and all the other people who've never played league what the it's, fuck you're talking you about <laughs> no i do want to know we're here oh, talking right. about it there's uh yasuo vane akali jace riven zed it gets worse it's all the it's all the champions that i was like fuck you oh fuck uh, yeah yeah it was the fuck you champions like you don't get to play the game champions Damn. yeah those are my favorite i don't play much yeah. anymore and when i do it's very casual uh for my own sanity I, I I had to cut that cold turkey. Like it was, it was like a, an addiction that you can't wean off of. You just have to stop and then never pick it up again. I uninstalled it my seventh time. I uninstalled it and I have not reinstalled. I am proud to say I am four years clean. I have not played it <laughs> since. Yeah, I've uninstalled that game. Uh, Thank you. Probably more than I've uninstalled all other games combined. Yep. Uh, yeah. How I know many times feels. did you say you? uninstalled and then clicked install again back to back no i i left it uninstalled for at least like a week it was you know, yeah. I, you know I was at least that committed right, right but two days right but yeah like how many times did that occur a lot a lot okay i'm yeah. not joking a lot yeah seven times at least for me but i'm and eventually like i said now i play maybe one match a week and i don't even or not but um it it, it was bad <laughs> years ago i got a question very off topic but first of all what do people i'm not gonna call you pp i can't i can't call you pp do it what the, do who, it. what do, what do you what do i call you that's not that uh potion yeah but that's a it's lot real, of words it's real god given name my, that's that's what my that's four syllables <laughs> That's a lot of syllables. I need like two. Uh, I I don't know. Like not that not that many people have asked that. Uh, I know uh, Bodhi has said Mister Mister Potion or something along those lines. Uh, you could just <laughs> Mr. call me by my Potion. Mister Potion. Yeah. Very formal. Uh, you could you you could just be uh, extremely formal and just go with, with the with the first name, first name basis. Which do people know your first name? Yes. What is it? Probably. It's Lucas. Lucas. Okay. I think I actually yeah. have heard. Someone call you Lucas before. Yeah, I, where did Lucas. poison potion come from? Why? Why that? 
Uh, so I was a gigantic Mario fan back, and I had a channel that I am never going to speak of before Poison Potion. But anyways, um, oh, we have those too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, and and you probably don't talk about them either, right? <laughs> nope. Uh, it was going to be Poison Mushroom for like Mario theme, and of course that was taken. So I thought, okay, well, what about Poison Potion, like Zelda? And then it was at the time, this was 2011, everybody had a catchphrase. PewDiePie had a catchphrase. You know, everybody was catchphrasing. And I'm like, I need a catchphrase. So I thought, how about Poipo? No, that's dumb. How about Pee-Pee? Pee-Pee, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Penis. <laughs> and I'm 14 at the time. So I, I think that's just the best shit in the world. I was like, okay, now how do I string that together? My name is Poison Potion or pp for short because i yeah (laughs) so then that so i I started making like portal let's plays back in 2011 and uh they were they were let's they were something they were they were real real good uh i deleted them uh and and then uh i stopped doing youtube for years and years and years until i decided to make a yasuo montage like four years ago and then i made a runescape radio station like two years ago and then i got the idea for high risk hardcore and i just decided i'm gonna full send on this one and just go as hard as i can so you made a runescape radio station like it was a real radio station it was just a concept like uh it, if you watch the it's like a 30 second video of me just going mm. uh uh so, oh, what was what did i say i said something real cheesy like 97.3 uh, wors uh, is our name oh yeah a 97.3 is our name and runescape <laughs> i just listened to name. it as you said it. oh funny. god yeah <laughs> there it is runescape and, that and, rhyme and, 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 and in between it i just had pauses where i was playing runescape music like autumn or autumn uh voyage and and uh and sea shanty and and yeah it took a good 10 hours to make that because i was so inexperienced with editing uh i look back on it now and it, it, i probably could make that in like 30 minutes but uh yeah that, that, after i made that i thought you know that was good you know i got like 100 views i was like oh that's cool um and then i um when i got to high risk hardcore i thought you know i'm just gonna the editing program that i use is absolute garbage i'm gonna get premiere pro after the video is done and i'm gonna just try and work as hard as i can on this uh video and that's all right. yeah, I, think, I think it worked out for you so that's good yeah i was gonna ask you um i had known i had known before you started by release that you were into quests mm-hmm. so that it made sense when the when the series came out uh but what kind of just triggered this the whole idea in your head uh, uh you i was in a it? i was in a discord call with settled actually and uh we were brainstorming something that i could do that made a new play style for me that I would actually enjoy. And mm-hmm. I, you know, he, he had been watching me like, oh, I'm going to brag or anything, but like settled knew me before I knew him. So he was like, he had a little background well, on me. Than, he said he had less than 30,000 subscribers. <clears throat> I mean, he was, he wasn't right. have anything to do with you. Yeah. He, he was just, it was real hard to get him to like me, man. Let me tell <laughs> you. But you know, he, he knew what I like to do. And he, he kind of, we were just kind of like laying it out on the table. And uh, so we came up with like the whole like release date thing. Cause I had pitched that I had pitched a bunch of different things. Like there was the idea of like, cause I, I like doing Slayer, I think. So I was going to do like a Slayer only thing or something along the lines, but it just wouldn't you work. Like doing Slayer? Yeah. I like doing Slayer. Like I, I think Slayer's fun, it's man. my go-to to just be no, like, I mean, I like doing Slayer. I'm just surprised that Jimmy likes doing Slayer. I, I think I like being, uh, a lot of times I find myself not knowing what to do on the game. So the fact that I can go to a Slayer Master and they tell me what to do, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, right. that kind of like, nice. yeah. Uh, that is good. Yeah, That's but, why I've been doing Slayer the past two days, to be honest. I've been <laughs> yeah. procrastinating soloing Bandos again because it was the worst fucking thing I ever did in my goddamn life. Yeah. Oh. You, so wait, you used to solo Bandos? I want to die. Yeah, fuck that. But uh, essentially, we came up with the, uh, the release date thing and... Um, I, I posted the screenshot like a while back of uh, of that initial conversation when I was like putting in like all the different names of that were like available that I could name my character. And uh, he was even like, by release sounds good. I think that's the best sounding one. I was like, I think so too. And then I made it. And then uh, the next like week, 
I had a notebook that I would take in, in, a, in my classes and I would start, um, I remember I, I physically wrote the outline and then the final draft, there was like three different final drafts of that initial um, intro that I made. And I was like so determined to make it like the perfect intro. And uh, looking back now, not the perfect intro, but it worked out. Oh yeah, it made people want to watch it. So, uh, yeah, it, it just kind of worked out. I'm I'm glad it did, but uh, did not expect it to take off the way it did. That that's pretty ridiculous. Uh, oh, I was I was I was seriously happy for you when that happened because like I'd been watching your stuff before that, and you had like there was really nobody else that I can think of that I watched at the time that was doing cinematics like that, and they were I was fuck I loved them so much. They were great, dude. There's like, a the, the one with. <laughs> The Max Cash glitch video, gosh, I still quote that today. <laughs> <laughs> Every fucking Venezuelan driving an Audi R8 now. <laughs> yeah, all because of your glitch. I just, I think, I don't even know what video it's from. There's just one bit that Jimmy's doing. I think there's like a noob or someone who's like, "Hey, yeah, I got in the, in the background." The other guys just, "Cause you're a pussy, <laughs> dude." Yeah, that and, was that was when I was doing the documentaries, the the, the holy mockumentaries, shit, dude. bro. That's I. I think about that sometimes. Yeah. Oh, that was fucking, that was good. Yeah, there's some good stuff. There's some good stuff that I, I look back on. And I'm like, wow, I can't, I, I was funny back then. I'm like, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> what what I happened did, to me? I became a SoundCloud guy. So yeah. Shit, yeah. How did I get, how'd I I get to this point? I don't know. <laughs> it, no, it, I, get, I get fallen stuck in my head all the damn time. Like, I'll just be walking around like, <laughs> that was my favorite one for a while dude i was surprised oh, when everyone liked the that ghosty city that i made that that's the one everyone goes to to talk Which about one? like yeah the ghost in the city ghost in the city oh, yeah, dude, yeah 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 i was literally just like I, that wasn't I didn't make anything of that beat. I found it on youtube which i can't even fucking find anymore like i tried to go find it so that i could like give him either buy the beat or like credit him or something. And I just literally didn't think anything of it when I made it. And then it turned out like that is the one that made me get SoundCloud Pro so that people could keep downloading it because it hit the limit. I was like, what the fuck is going on here? Wow. <laughs> so I was like, what is this? And then I just, now we're just making music. For How fun. many listens do, do your like songs have? Oh uh, God, dude. Like a surprising yeah. amount. I don't understand. Uh, I think it might have hit 400k total. What? Yeah, oh, on man. SoundCloud right now, total. I don't even know where to find it now. Yeah, I I don't know how that is from like music. I know the views are uh, higher, but I don't know how. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't. High that is. Sounds like a, that's a big number. Uh, total. I mean, yeah. That's yeah. Like it's about 447,000 plays of my songs on SoundCloud. <laughs> Jeez. Nice. And then and then all the new stuff is getting like like that uh Sandy Confessions one that I made. Uh that, that one's getting like uh my, my friend Mara posted a screenshot that it was in her Discover Weekly on Spotify. And I was I was like <laughs> the craziest thing ever. I was like what the fuck dude? Like it's a RuneScape song that I was just like talking about the hand in the sand quest. <laughs> what the fuck? I yeah, I can just imagine weird. just people people listening to some rap songs, you know, you, and then all of a sudden years come up and they're like, "What the? <laughs> yeah. Actually, it's not. Actually, it's not that bad." Yeah, I don't know what he's talking about, but yeah. Well, I can see people uh, on SoundCloud. It lets me see what playlists that the songs are being put into. Like, I could see when someone's put it into their thing that they you know click through and listen all the way through. And like, I'm next to like Future and and playboy cardi and shit in these people's playlists and i'm like why are you what really like i wouldn't put myself in any of these fucking playlists it's so weird right right after future yeah i just need a good bit of jimmy with me hats yeah that's my go -to. uh also I, I was meaning to ask you how long have you played this video game this runescape video game i i started in at the the beginning of 2018 for the uh, first time never... ever for the first time ever, yes. I, wow! I never, oh, really? What? Yeah, I only played this game 
uh, or I only heard about this game in school when, when like, sometime I would hear somebody say RuneScape something, and then they would compare it to World of Warcraft. Like, oh, RuneScape's got worse graphics, so it's just, World of Warcraft's a better game. And I was thinking, I don't play either games. I don't fucking care. Uh, but then so many years went by, and I was at the end of my rope with league, I was, you know, it was basically, it felt like a job. I was just grinding it ranked every day yeah. and I was just miserable. And I thought I need to stop this. And I, I told him, I talked to my friend and he was like, well, I play this game called old school runescape. And I'm like, good, let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was the first, the first thing he said, I'm like, I don't care what it is. I just, if you like it, I'll probably like it. Let's go. So I get into the game and the very first thing I think to myself is, what the hell? Like, because the only game I played that was an MMORPG was Diablo 3. And so I was like, oh, okay, so you point and you click like Diablo 3. Okay, I can get that. But I point and click and I was like, man, I've, I've got like lag or something. Like something's going on here. Like, what, what's wrong? Well, I click on the screen and like my character doesn't move for like 0 0.6 seconds. Yeah. It's really bad. And he was like, no, it's supposed to be like that. <laughs> our game is so shit yeah oh god it's so bad yeah and then uh, i just paused for a moment and i thought okay i can look past it <laughs> and so i start killing cows and i start like do it like i start uh leveling up and i can't remember when i got hooked onto the game but i just i think i saw like a boss video or whatever my friends were all bossing and i and the, I, I started doing a few quests and i thought you know, it kind of feels good to do that. And I, I like seeing the numbers go up. <laughs> yep. And so after that, it was just, it was, I was gone. I think in the first eight months of playing, I had averaged with a full-time job, I'd averaged eight hours of playtime a day. Holy it, shit. It was, it was bad. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like Very RuneScape. Uh, fuck. You took that Yasuo main energy and you just channeled it. <laughs> yeah. I don't need crack. This is, this is really good. It's <laughs> fine. Yeah. I love this. Yeah, uh, but I yeah I went I went way too hard and then I did get burnt on the game I got um I I became a filthy staker um oh, no. my 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 friends were were into staking and uh I I had gotten about uh oh, we got so lucky at corp 70 KC my we got a duo Elijah and Spirit Shield I was over the moon because before that I had a 20 mil bank it went to it went to 400 mil because there was 800 mil at the time. And so after that, I did solo corp, got an arcane spirit shield solo. My bank went up to 500 mil. And I was like, I was looking at the Tebow and I was thinking, man, I want an Inferno Cape. And I was looked at the Duel Arena. Oh, man, mm. <laughs> that's an easy way to get it. And, and so I, I got tempted too hard. I went there, got up to a billion, 1.1 billion GP. And I said, I just need one more bill or one more, 100 more mil GP. And I, I've got it lost it all like i lost 11 stakes in a row yeah and i i quit i quit the game for about three days and my friend said you should make a hardcore and i said what if i die and then he said you make another one yeah <laughs> and so i i made a hardcore and i got to 1500 total and then i died to a blue dragon because i equipped a granite mall and unequipped my anti oh my god dude <laughs> I stood in Lumbridge for 10. I wasn't mad. I wasn't screaming. I stood in Lumbridge for 10 minutes and I, I was just in disbelief at how stupid my brain was. Um, and then hardcore PP2 was made and, and the rest is history. Hmm. Dude, I, I can't do the hardcore thing. I feel like it's just no constant anxiety when I'm walking around. I, I tried it oh, once. It, I didn't like it. It is. It is. It's, it's constant stress, dread. But if you're like me and a psychopath, you enjoy it. Yeah. I mean... I think the first time I died on my buy release account was in episode 12 to a PKer when I was doing mm -hmm. like the compromise of needing a, a rune axe. And yeah, I, re yep, I remember that. Yeah. I remember like I was thinking to myself like, damn, if I was a hardcore, this would be it right here. It'd be done. Did you, did you ever consider being a hardcore for the series? Honestly, no. I had already been yeah. set on that. Like, I don't care. I'm going to just okay. be an Iron Man. <laughs> just, yeah. And people yeah. were asking, like, why do you do hardcore? Like, blah, blah. I'm like, because everyone else is fucking doing it. I don't need to do it. That's not what this yeah. is about, man. I'll die. If I die, I'd, I'm, everyone dies on RuneScape. It's supposed to be like that it, nostalgia it, factor. It makes sense, too, because could you imagine if you got all the way to Dragon Slayer 2? planked there and they're like well guys season two next we, we do it all again yeah yeah that'd be that'd be too yeah. much dude right no, not for me nine range you ever do hardcore 
Oh, oh yeah, no. fucking one kick Rick was. I always forget that. And then it was like the most miraculous story of all time that no one knows about. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You want to tell it or should I? Do one? You want to tell it or should I? Nah, dude. I got, I mean, <laughs> I had a Lumberge Chicken Farm only restricted hardcore Iron Man. And then I unleashed him on the greater Lumberge area. And he was a Lumberge only hardcore Iron Man. And. I died getting B-roll, which seems to be a thing for me. I, the shittiest stuff happens to me during B-roll, you wouldn't believe. I got poisoned by a rock slug in the Lumberge swamps and uh, was completely unprepared, had like no food. Uh, I tried once to home telly out and the poison tick interrupted the telly. I didn't know at the time that if right after the poison tick you home telly, yeah. um, you can make it. I didn't want to try a second time and not make it. So I, and I was out of run energy already because I'd been sprinting in some of the B roll clips. And I just fucking, I made it to where all the warriors are standing outside where you start Lost City. And I fucking planked there. And I was like nine, 10 episodes into a series. And I was just mm -hmm. like, fuck, this is the stupidest death of all time. I recorded. Uh, a section of me being like, all right, well, I fucking died, but we're just going to start over, I guess. Like, this is what I, that's what you do. So we're starting over. And then I uh, went to like my, it, that was, I was, I was up super early that morning. It was like, I died at like 5 30 or 6 in the morning. So I went to like my favorite cafe, got some lunch, was going to make, or breakfast, was going to make a, vi the, the next series was going to be uh, a character called Son of Rick. And it was just going to be like, you know, his um, son carrying the torch forward. And uh, had it all set up, had the account bonded, wrote a eulogy and like a bit and had like was into the next video. And then uh, I saw a tweet. It was when they had the Twisted Bow spawn outside of the farming guild. Oh. And they just said... By the way, we rolled back all the servers and I pressed fucking record and was like, there's no way. There's no fucking way. So then I went and and logged on to Rick and sure enough, he's fucking standing outside the swamp caves with his hardcore status still intact. They rolled back the servers and uh, resurrected him. <laughs> no fucking way. Dude, is it? You did not get the, you did not die on the Tebow glitch. I oh died during the Tebow glitch respawn. <laughs> and they rolled I'm, it back. I'm, speed, I'm speechless. That's insane. No, and it's We've so had funny, two major rollbacks. We've had two major rollbacks in the spawn in the seven years and you just happened to die at that yeah, exact I died of my hardcore that I was doing a YouTube series The fucking for. Lumbridge only chicken farm only hardcore. <laughs> People have lost like the fuck like the top leaders of hardcore have lost their oh. status and they're just like to to DCs and just complete horseshit. He dies while getting B roll for a fucking series that like started as a meme and he gets his hardcore status back, dude. You are worthy. Yeah, yeah. he true. still got it too. Hardcore. Yeah, he still got it. We we I I've, I've been telling him like we have to make like the the greatest fucking video of all time about that because he has it up. You could literally go see what he's talking about right now. But like it's no him one behind has... a bad title and a bad thumbnail and just in the middle of a random progress video on the, it's on my YouTube channel. That all of this happening. Yeah, it's like episode nine or so. I don't know. Yeah, you could have made like a like a like a like the chosen one sort of series, like one of the only hardcores with a, with a resurrection. Oh man, it's like the coolest yeah. thing ever. Well, I'm still sitting yeah. on the account for that reason, and I just haven't found an idea good enough yet. And I honestly, okay. people ask me when's the next one kick Rick video every day of my life, and my answer is when I get an idea worth like making that saying this is a resurrected hardcore we have a goal now so i'm i'm just not sure I'm not i, I sure. honestly i think it would make a great one-off video like i think I'm, like it just the story itself is so fucking iconic you're probably yeah. one of the only ones that has or ever will experience that and like it's goddamn hilarious because it's the chicken farm hardcore yeah, no. of all things yeah. no. so it's it's just so good it is like the best thing i've ever heard in my life
That, that is kind of amazing. You're, so you're, like, like a, you're like a Saiyan. Every single time you die, you become twice as powerful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. That's good stuff, dude. That's fucking awesome. Ever, and it's, if I ever log onto that account, actually, <clears throat> I am bombarded with messages immediately. People like, holy shit, he's back. He's back. And I just send them a little angry, like, smiley face, like, hee hee, and then I, <laughs> I turn my private off. Just teasing them. <laughs> oh. You, you yeah. could have, like, a whole episode where, like, your character's just going through this purgatory light state and trying to, like, trying to prove his worth to, to prove his chicken worth or something. Just, like, play it with the series in order to get back to lifehood, and there's, like, this, this chicken deity god that's deeming you worthy. The, uh, the old chicken random event. The, uh, yeah. like, magic evil chicken evil or is chicken that yeah 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 i just had to kill that thing in recipe for disaster proud of you jim thank you so much dude that was a big oh, boss fight for yeah. me and that's it's huge that's hard to get, actually i can't wait also yeah uh i don't know dude i honestly have no idea when i don't know when this is going up but hopefully by the time it does that episode 28 will come out but that was Oh, yeah. That scene of you doing the, the Duke, dude, I was so happy the way that worked out. It is so fucking funny. Just, oh, you I mean, had him voice the Duke? Yeah, it's like the only voice acted character. Like, I just With wanted Duke to... Horatio? Yeah. In you that, didn't have me voice the Duke? No, when you hear it, you'll know uh, that, that this man over here needed to voice him. <laughs> he is the Duke, dude. It worked so well. Just this big fucking, like... Big huff and puff voice and shit, getting mad at the little uh, King Awoge or whatever his name is, the monkey, and then kicking him, like literally kicking him. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Dude, I'm so oh, happy that you edited that. Yeah, the way you edited that was so good. Like I, I loved that. Uh, Dude. I was looking at the video. It was be pre edit. You gave me kind of just kind of the scene. It was pre edit, and I was thinking, how's that gonna work? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna roll with it. But mm. after after the edit, it looks so good. And, Dude, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was. Uh... I did so many takes of that of that damn uh, uh, where I said, "God damn it!" <laughs> yeah, I did so you many did, takes yeah. Of that. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> but uh, uh, the 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 pronunciation of I had no idea how to say Scratch's last name. Uh, scratch. Uh, go, uh, go, go. What? How the fuck do you say that? Yeah. Um, I, so I went. What did I did? What I did was I A looked Googly. up. Uh, <laughs> I, I yeah, Uglog where I looked up Slayer Music's guide to see how he would say it, but then I was like, "Shit, Slayer Music pronounces things weird all the time. It might not be that." Um, and, and then I don't think things weird. Music. Oh shit! Yeah, damn it. Okay. This man just said okay. music. I, I I had I have watched him ever since I started this game two years ago. I always said music, and I called him that when he came into the stream. One, oh, it's Slayer, it's 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 Slayer Music. And then everybody in chat said, music? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I was well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> I thought the cue was like a que, like a que. And then he played it like he played along with it. And he said, well, music in French is music. So I'm like, yeah, that's it, guys. I was just saying his name in French. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm yeah. part French, totally. Okay, I, say I, will, I will die by that pronunciation. What? What'd you say? Ceratamen. Oh yeah, that's stupid. Sir Sir Adaman. Sarah no. Domin. The he noble Sir Adaman. Adaman. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> I hate that. Sarah Doman sounds so I stupid. I don't say Sarah Doman. There's no O in there. What do you Sarah mean? It's got Sarah so many Domin. Vowel. It's got so many aggressive vowels. Sarah Sir Doman. I Sir Adaman. I don't say Doman. Sir Adaman sounds cool to me. I don't know. That sounds like That's the name the of a spider. I will not change my pronunciation on just because Sarah Doman sounds like some kind of like, I, oh God, I just can't stand it. I changed our doin. I say that correctly now. And any okay. number of other 10 banger words that RuneScape <laughs> has that, you know, you say as a kid and then you come into the community and they're like, oh, no, 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 no. That's yeah. so wrong. But so I'm holding on to Sir Adamin. Yeah, uh, I still say skimitar, and skimmy. Yeah, I put the. I don't know where the K came from, but I, I say skimmy, and people are like it's simmy. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't get rid of it. Oh, and catherby. I always say catherby. There's somebody. A, there's a good enough amount of people that say catherby. That that's like yeah. okay. But somebody gave me a really, really good reason to say catherby. 
the bee farm is in Cather B. And then I said, oh shit, he's right. <laughs> so ever since then, I've tried to call it Cather B because that just made so much sense to me, but I still accidentally call it Cather B. Hmm. I think you I piss everybody ones, off. Jimmy? Yeah, I piss everyone off because uh, I, I do it on purpose because there's that really mean gnome guy, Glow, and I say mm -hmm. Gluff without fail every time I will call it Gluff, and people get pissed the fuck off because I'm like, you, you say rough because it's spelled G-L-O-U-G-H, right? That one's actually one I never know how to pronounce. I, whether I it's like I've, Glow I've, or I've always said Gluff. I've yeah, people are like, it's Glow. glow. And I'm like, no, what? it's Gluff. I think I say cooler. Gluff too because like tough. Yeah, tough, yeah. rough, Gluff. I say it like yeah. that. That's how it's spelled to me. And I, uh -huh. I will argue on it even though it's definitely fucking wrong. I'm pretty sure Jagex moderators say glow. What do I say glow? I don't remember which one I say. I think glow I, sounds stupid. He just, he's not, he's not a glow. They, I mean, they both they say, sound don't they stupid. Say glow or gl glow? Or do they, don't they add an F to it, even if they do say glow? Uh, glow. A glow? Glow. Uh, <laughs> glow. 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 <laughs> yeah. It's the name's stupid. Gl Gloff is better. Gloff is more commanding. I'm pretty sure I saw a, a, a Jagex moderator quote from like the original days of saying like we're gonna start naming things very difficult because it's hilarious hearing people pronounce them like I, i'm almost a hundred percent that 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 quote is a real thing somewhere that people at jagex like when they were first making all these were were just like let's come up with the wackiest name with like some vowels and then see how people say it. like ardoin what the fuck is that about <laughs> it's like the dumbest thing i've ever seen i like a wo a wo -wo a I love Awogi. 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 I love Awogi. that name. Yeah. I always do. I, without fail, if I ever have him in a, a video of mine, I voice act the scene. And I do pretty much King Kai, a, a bad version of King Kai from Dragon Ball Z. And I get called a racist like th by at least three people in the comments. I'm like, oh, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> They're like, nice racist accent. I'm like, what race do you think that is? You're the fucking racist if you think someone sounds like that. I'm an alien from the planet that, like, I don't even know what the fuck. Fuck I'm off. Trying to remember, I'm trying to remember what he sounded like. I don't I don't remember what it, what, did he, what did he sound like, that, that Dragon Ball Z character. Oh, um, uh, well, it's, well, what are some he would say? Would be, uh, be very careful, Goku. He is very powerful. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. Wasn't that Kame or, or not Kame? Um, uh, King yeah. Kai. Yeah, King Kai. King Kai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I haven't watched Dragon Ball Z in a while, but yeah, oh God, yeah, dude. I could just see the comments that you get for that. Or like, could anybody is, else? Well, is it that or or maybe I do? I don't know. I don't remember what voice I do for a. While. It just comes up from within me, and it's a perfect Awogi voice. <laughs> no, stop perfect. it. Perfect. Oh, yeah. you should hear me yeah. do it. No, Goku, it's stop it. Power. Yeah. You're going to destroy the planet, Goku. <laughs> oh, my God. You're already, you're already used up enough energy as it is. Yeah. And the way I see it, you need as much as you. I don't know. I'm just yeah. quoting the... the, 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 the bomb will destroy the entire planet. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it sounds he's like that... He's too much power. Yeah. At this point, he's going to shake the whole world apart. <laughs> what are you doing, Goku? Dude... That uh, yeah, Piccolo. I see that why people Piccolo. people connect it. Uh, it it kind of sounds like that dude. Uh, what what's the dude's name? Like Mr. Walk or something? The guy from South Park who's like always talk. He, he screams at the at the dudes for like coming in his store, and he's just like this know. this the most stereotypical Asian man ever, and he sounds just like that. Oh yeah, yeah, no, it's I know fucking that. hilarious. But that's exactly uh -huh. what it sounds like. I don't remember his yeah. name. <laughs> Sh shitty ch chicken or city walk shitty walk it's like oh, city God. walk but it's <laughs> shitty walk yeah yeah that's funny man um, Dude, we need to do that. a we need we need to combine our uh dbz characters and make like a dbz runescape <laughs> dbz runescape I, I could do vegeta napa King which Kai. version of vegeta which, the one that talks like this or the one that talks like this. Yeah, the second one. <laughs> the second one. Okay. Yeah, and that's over nine thousand. Yeah, I can maybe do. I can do a Krillin sometimes if I'm like really in. I sometimes when I'm trying to do something else, I'll accidentally slip into like, oh, I'm a little bitch, Krillin, kind of like voice <laughs> cracky. I mean, that was like Morty or something weird, but sometimes. Well, that 
that's more tuned to like the the bridge version i think is he's so voice cracky in that one right yeah that well yes it would be it would absolutely be a team four star bridge version of krill yeah and their version of what uh vegeta he kind of sounds like this vegeta in in even in the abridged version, he sounds like he sounds really good yeah he's 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 a very good uh very good impression dude mr potion i think you should try uh you should try putting yourself on Fiverr for voice acting <laughs> and see what happens. Oh my! I I would get so many sex <clears throat> like sex lines to read off, and it, that is that is exactly why uh, you're doing I, it. I, I, you're getting it started. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be I, your first I, I, I say I will say a liner, and then in the parentheses, I will not do a sex convo with you. You uh, can record it, pre-record it, and then send it to him though. I could. Yeah, so you so, send it to him, then that next thing you know, you, you're on like one of those, uh, what's that one fucking commercial that pops on on Comedy Central like late at night, like the Adam, Adam and Eve, the fucking sex toy website, and you just hear yourself just advertising the fucking numbers, like they replaced like the fucking porn star voiceover with yours. <laughs> so, it's so, just a bad lip syncing. Some dude with his cock out in your voice. Yeah. Like, no. No. Yeah, dude. Oh, that'd be One, awesome. My, my, uh, my instructor, when I was in radio school, he said, be careful when you are, when you're doing voiceovers, you know, always know what you're doing and what it's for. Um, because it's, it could be anywhere. For instance, my voice, he said he had a voice that he did. Currently his voice is in China right now, telling people where to stand in line, like somewhere in China. Really? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so he's he's just talking to me like, be wary of where it's going to be, because you, you, there could be a person that may take advantage and and do something that you might not want done with your voice. Have you ever done any voice acting work for anybody? Uh, yeah, uh, his name. Yeah, is, you. Uh, his name's Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, me. <laughs> Anyone that's uh, actually paid you. Uh, oh. <laughs> no, no, no damn. Wait, Jimmy didn't pay you. He's paid me every time I've voice acted in his videos. <laughs> yeah, with Wait, favors. Yeah, just with physical favors. I don't think I've ever actually voice acted in. Yeah, movie. I don't think he has either. Uh, no, I, I have not uh, asked anyone for voice lines in a really, really long time. Yeah, uh, it's difficult to make work. Yeah. Uh, you find out that even though, like, there's a lot of people out there that are really um, entertaining or talented, but that does not mean that they can get you the read that you want to, like, yeah. could you you will have an idea in your head of what you want it to sound like and actually getting that from someone or having the ability to work off of what they give you really, really hard to pull off sometimes. That's why I've done this whole voice thing a couple of times and it really helps if they are very descriptive of what they want. Uh, Like, like be aggressive or, uh, or uh, maybe do a voice crack here, or like loud, or and and if they don't, that's fine too. Then I just make a, a plethora of cuts so that they can pick out which one they want. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of I, I, I don't remember if I was talking to Nine Rain about this or not, but uh, I think that the most useful class I ever got out of college was was um, called acting and directing for the camera, and we learned how to get the emotion or line read or cut that we want from somebody. Uh, and actually, like it's it's contrary to what you were saying with with being descriptive. Uh, a lot of times when someone's like working with a a voice actor or an actor in general, uh, the more descriptive they are, the, the less likely you are to get what you want with them uh, because they're overthinking it really hard. And oh, I, yeah, I could see that. Yeah, I, and all because all you need to do is like. Well, one voice acting is is very it's a lot more effective to like get what you want when you're there with them doing it, but it's just really hard to find someone that's like comfortable. Like I it would be Jimmy, uncomfortable. Give me, give me a boob, I'll drive to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I am saying like it's over like Discord or something, like recording with them, like directing like how you want them to sound, and all you're doing is just pulling the emotion you want. You're saying like you're just really frustrated about this right now. And then read. And then you're just like, oh, I'll feel frustrated about something. And then you read it. And then right, that's right. all you basically need. And then you can tell me, okay, that sounded really shit. Let's try it again. And maybe it sounds better this time. Dude. <laughs> Instead of like, 
funny enough, when you don't get the one you want, a trick is to say like, that was good. Do it just like that again, just like that. And 110% of the time, they will not do it just like that. And they'll do it differently. And it'll probably be the one you want. <laughs> That's like a okay. trick, dude. Okay. There's it, it's yeah. so many things you'll never think about. I'm glad that I like took that class because I've been able to do it. Normal conversation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Whatever you know, the conversation, you give them the answer. He's like, "Perfect answer. Do it again." You're like, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Make them change their to... mind about shit too. It's all Jedi mind tricks with directing. I think, it's just, I think it's just etiquette to tell them that that was great. But then, because there has been a time where somebody has said. That was great. Love that. All right, do it completely different. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking, well, okay, I, I guess it wasn't good. Yeah. Yeah. So, by the way, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take care of the, of the clothes that are behind me because I've been looking at them for like the last 45 minutes, and it's, it's really bothering me. So I'll be back in like two seconds to finish that. <laughs> okay. Oh. A decent-sized chunk out of my floorboard. What? What? Yeah. I, I forgot my my uh, pull up bar was on the door frame and I like slammed the door shut and it sent the pull up bar flying and just went like bar went straight into the corner of the wall and just took a big old chunk out of the floorboard. <laughs> Dude, how is your house not burned down yet? What? <laughs> Damn, son. Have you guys um have you got like the big craze recently has been a, a Among Us? Have you guys played it? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I, when it came to RS, it just sucked up all my time. Every, anytime somebody mentioned me a new game, I just thought to myself, but, but RuneScape. Yeah. Uh, but I actually have uh, played them. I enjoy it greatly. It's, it's so damn fun. You've been playing with like, uh, like your personal friends or like RuneScape people? Just a, a few people from, from my Discord. We all, we all get into Discord calling, and it's never a, a set thing. There are mm -hmm. just some people in the call, and then we'll all just say, okay, it's time for Among Us. We've got more than six people. Yeah. Yeah. But, it's an interesting yeah. game. It's really surprising that that, that game blew up now. Because uh, I, I was talking with my, my buddy Thinley about how it's literally just trouble in terrorist town, but with tasks and less fun i guess like well, I, yeah, I, part of it is there's a really low barrier to entry yeah um and th just everything from the the ui and the animation and the whole like look of it everything is just yeah. super easy and casual yeah uh it's so like amazing. whereas anything made in gary's mod is not <laughs> that's true um that's and very then, true and then on top of that it, once once a game hits a certain point people play it just because people play it mm -hmm. because like oh yeah well everyone has among us and everyone's playing it right now so we might as well play it with friends you know dude the yeah. other night I'm, I'm in a call with kevin he's playing he's playing among us in public matches so no one has a mic all you can do is talk to people he gets in the game and immediately presses the emergency meeting button and just rats any person out that he wants like he he's he told me like pick a guy and i was like okay purple he clicks the fucking button says it's purple saw him vent or he's like purple explain why you vented and i'm like you're ruining the game for people right now you're an asshole but i'm like this is just not a game to play like publicly without voice like I, this is like a game you need to play with friends and i feel really bad for people who are like trying to seriously go and play public by themselves because it's just explain what explain why you vented is <laughs> yeah it's it's already if you vented you're the guy does not explain why you vented yeah does it care to explain what that was about like it's like okay I, from last i checked only imposters can vent i don't know it's kind of weird or it's kind of weird i saw you do that and he's just like literally the second they got into the game i don't know my best my best moment with among us was yesterday um where i was an imposter and i killed somebody in the hallway which probably wasn't the best choice and of course, there was somebody right there as I killed them. So he reported right away. And this played into me because usually if you self-report in this situation, this this scenario happens, it's, it's well, anyways, uh, I immediately came in and I was like, Bright, I can't believe you. He just killed him right in front of me, right in front of me. And then Bright was like, no, no, it, it was pee, pee I swear. Don't do this to me, dude. Don't, don't you do this. It's it's hilarious, or it's great how uh, how into it you can get. Like you can make yeah. your own character. Yeah, I, I just I think it's funny how it's basically just like a game to see how good you are at lying or explaining, yeah. like coming up with an alibi and like 
even if he didn't do it, like, it's just so hard to tell people, like, no, I seriously, I didn't. You're like, that sounds pretty guilty to me. But it's yeah, just like, fuck what, you. Uh, it would say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I am uh, very guilty until proven innocent. Yeah. I've only... I've only played the one, the one time that we played Jimmy. Yeah. And uh I I got to the I was the imposter twi- twice. Mm. Mm-hmm. It was it's it was it was a little it was quite a bit more interesting when the the imposter to be honest. Oh yeah. Because you are participating in the action mm. every round no matter what. Uh it- but Sometimes, like, there was a lot of times where I was just like, all right, I did two tasks. I didn't see a single person. And then someone found a body. And I was like, well, what the hell? I could just make shit up if I wanted. But Yeah. It seems like it would be really interesting. I have a terrible, awful memory. So if I, if I had a really good memory, I think the crewmate would be a lot more interesting because then you could just have tags on people. Okay, I just walked past blue. I just walked past red. And then you can say, okay, well, if it was in that area, I had walked past Red. He was coming from that area, but I can never do that. Even if I did, I would think, oh, yeah, somebody walked past me. It was, damn it. <laughs> and, yeah. and, then, and then they're like, come on, seriously. I'm sorry. I've got, I can't remember. I'm always, yeah. I'm always like that as well. Well, and I, I played so little, I don't know the map. So everything on screen is new to me. So it's hard to, you know, glance at it and, understand everything that you're seeing yeah oh i think it's just a goofy game i can't it's pretty wild that it got uh blown up so so randomly from just big guys picking it up making content yeah. with it and then spreading it like wildfire it's fun yeah, and it's a social butterfly game too so people are kind of doing it because it's one of those games you can just invite other yeah personalities too and you know yeah what i want to see is some like i want to see some high level pro play of that game where people are just ridiculously good and their acting is phenomenal yeah that would be amazing. it'd be like a movie every single round yeah probably will be at some point i don't know it's just not we that interesting one, we should do one <laughs> where we hard commit to rp like you have a character and more important than winning is playing out your character are you fucking right. eating right now what are you yeah, yeah. I put, stop I put, it I put, <laughs> fuck it stop it I thought it was going to be a bit of a, you know, fun experience because it's jalapenos with a little bit of peanut butter in it, but they weren't hot. Gosh, it's... I grew, these my, I grew these myself, so I thought that there's a chance that they could have just, like, kicked my ass and it would have been, ha-ha, look at how stupid he looks kind of thing. I better not, not hear right? fucking... I, I better not hear any chewing in the audio. I will fucking freak out. I, <laughs> I hate you. chew I sounds, do. dude. I can't believe people like you remember that, that there was like a trend for a while of like what, what's it called mukbang and people just like film themselves talking oh to a camera God, and like eating dude if you enjoy those fucking videos you are a psychopath you're fucked up you are fucked up if you yeah. sit there and be like fuck yeah mukbang video I'm tuning in I'm watching it's that right so now disgusting I can't believe the amount of views that some of those get it's yeah. so gross dude that is disgusting well, a lot of people are just like oh this is gross I want to see how gross this is <laughs> <laughs> introduced oh, it was really gross man i want to i want to stick around and see how much more gross it gets yeah fuck like that. i was introduced to that by uh i think h3h3 podcast did like a a segment on this she's basically a fucking sea kraken <laughs> and she just like gargles down horrible beasts of the deep covered in like alfredo sauce she's a disgusting human being it's repulsive beyond <laughs> description. Well, I mean, Alfredo sauce. <laughs> I don't know if it would be in that situation, but yeah, I was more just thinking people just like going through the drive-through at McDonald's, <laughs> eating that in front of the camera. Oh, you have, dude, you haven't seen the half of it. Oh no, I have, have, dude, I have. I know what you're. I know what you're talking about. Sent me a video of this tiny Korean girl just like the gagging down and a shit? live octopus. Yeah. That's fucked up critical talked about that dude disgusting that's fucked up i hated that i'm sure the comments are a bunch of just sickos just like yeah choker and that octopus and she's like "Eh, it's trying to live "Eh," while it's going down my throat (laughs) jesus christ dude (laughs) fuck that fuck that I gotta take a shower. Like, yeah, I feel gross. Yeah. I'm Jeez. sweating now. It's so bad. God, Why I hate is the internet. YouTube? Like, 
that you'd find that on like the deep web or some something yeah, like that. On YouTube. If I ever get banned for shit, I'm gonna send them that video and be like, explain this to me how this is not worse than whatever the fuck I just did. Because she's getting three million views and <laughs> fuck your well, YouTube. <laughs> there was the one critical video that got that got striked. You, you, did you guys hear about that yeah. debacle? Yeah. That was insane. I did especially when, Oh my so critical posted a video just making fun of it's that old you might have even seen it's that old video where like it's a russian video it was staged where like the spongebob <clears throat> and uh and like mr Cr or like just a bunch of people in mascot costumes come out and beat the shit out of this one guy <laughs> and youtube flagged copyright and took down that video they put a copyright strike on critical's account because of that video even though it was staged and he was just he was on Twitter saying, why could you please take off this strike? You know, and they say we're we're upholding it because it is a gross misconduct. It was like battery and, and like uh, domestic abuse. And it, and it, and then all of a sudden uh, uh, Markiplier came in on it and he said, I reacted to this video four years ago and you guys didn't do anything about it. So fair is fair. You should take the strike off. But then YouTube doubled down and took down his video and gave <laughs> Markiplier a strike as well. Fuck those. <laughs> ass hats at youtube dude if you're watching this video on youtube and fuck you youtube guy who did that to those two. Oh god take this and video Mark down fuck tar <laughs> is just like well uh they took it down and that's the first strike on my account the very first strike this guy's ever gotten and it's for that dude i i think uh there is somebody at YouTube that is like watching us so hard because uh -huh. our first like three, four episodes, there was like a segment in each one where we would like just talk shit about YouTube people. And like, yeah. that's why we weren't, we we're monetized now, but we weren't before. It took two tries to get uh, like the whole partner thing on YouTube so we can like put any ads at all. And uh, yeah. now I don't know if it still is, but anything remotely, like PG thirteen, whether thumbnail, title, tags, it's automatically um, put as like the yellow monetization sign where like it's limited ads, like it needs to be approved, like someone needs to watch it, and like I do it every time. I click the fucking you know request manual review, but someone's out there that's like fucking tagged our our thing to be like I don't know, they they could be up to something. Like yeah. it's so weird, Never dude. Know. We on Never our know when gonna lose it. On our podcast, which I don't remember which one it was, it might have just been us, me, and Jimmy just talking. It got flagged for like a specific flag for using someone else's content. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's literally just us talking. There wasn't yeah. even like an image that was shown at any point. Yeah. Well, it was really <clears throat> fun. It was cool. Is that? I mean, that had to have been their their automated or their automated system. There was that wasn't a manual review. That and that's one must have been automated and or like there's there was just nonsensical. Something glitched and yeah, but and that that can ruin people. I mean, it can just it can just destroy people. Yeah, and, and it, it it sucks that it's that bad when it when people's careers are on the lines at some sometimes. Yeah, <clears throat> it's pretty shitty. Have you ran into any copyright stuff with your stuff yet? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I could not believe this. So, um, I I had used this song. It was in episode two. It was when I was getting chased by that one PK at the at the Wildy Altar, and I was using this scary music song. And I looked up copyright free royal or free music. I talked to the creator of the song. I said, "Can I use this?" I said, "Yep, totally fine. Just put a link to our video in." I said, "Okay, solid." I used the song, put it in, put the link in, everything. I get a copyright strike a couple of days later because a in india uh, a, a, a company from india music company took the song ripped it and put it at the end of a song on one of their like it was just a it was a song from india and at the very end at five minutes in it just boom it goes to that song for the last two minutes yep and it, this song had 100 views and the only three comments were of the original creator of the song saying to take the video down <laughs> and two other people saying I, th I'm getting copyright strikes from this song that you don't own. So I had to put a dispute on or whatever you do. And they, th and then they just didn't do anything with it for a month. So after a month, yeah. it was gone and I was fine with it. So yeah, that was the most ridiculous shit ever. Yeah. Dude, speaking of that, there was a situation recently that I, I kind of forgot about. Uh, 
with 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 Sir Pugger, you know, he's he's got like the that music he always uses, like that creepy, ominous, whatever the track is, yeah. spooky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, did you see that thing on Twitter about the guy who like came at him for not giving him credit? No, I did not. So, <laughs> this is the dumbest shit I have ever seen for somebody trying to like get credit for something because mm. I don't know. I heard there's this chick that pretty much trained all of Swampletics. We're not talking about oh, that. Oh boy. Well, <laughs> yeah, we're not getting into that. Okay, so it takes number two, right? Huh? So this Sir Pugger case gets, you know, number two spot for taking Shut credit. Shut the fuck up for a second. All right. So th this guy, what he does is he takes RuneScape songs, right? He gets the, the file that he pulls from the game's client and he goes in and he just puts like an EQ on it just to make things sound a little better. Uh, I don't think he's actually playing anything, and if he does, it's kind of fucking stupid. Uh, and then he calls it, like, crispy, crispy RuneScape music. And Sir, he sent it to Sir Pugger and said, like, hey, man, I just made this, you know, made it sound a little cleaner. Uh, if you want to use it, you know, go ahead. And, uh, you know, Sir Pugger, like, gave it a look, downloaded it, listened to it. And he didn't think anything of it, but, like, he put that in the video in the background, like, as, as a background track. And he didn't yeah. put, like thanks to crispy music fucking put it down here and then crispy ca caused a fucking conundrum on twitter saying like why didn't you credit me dude like i i sent that to you with confidence like shut the fuck up dude that's like me taking like a song by 50 cent putting a fucking thing so it's like the keyboard sounds a little nicer in it and saying like that's my shit you could use it but like credit me what the fuck is that that you don't own anything with that dude Sh even if you played it from scratch you played it all like on on keyboards and shit. Fuck you. You, you didn't make mm -hmm. anything. You you, <laughs> you didn't do That's, anything. You didn't, you didn't do anything. You literally just copied the song and made it sound cleaner probably, than probably Ian Taylor. Ian Taylor he wrote, wrote most it. of the goodies back in the day. Yeah. If anything, Ian Taylor should be like, man, I'm glad you like that, man. Shout me out. And then I'd yeah. be like, okay, that's kind of weird, but sure, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. But yeah. crispy music, dude. Crispy RuneScape. Go fuck yourself, dude. Go <laughs> fuck you. That is the dumbest shit I've ever seen, dude. Don't don't cause a conundrum for creators. Like, that Sir Pugger gets a, enough shit with people trying to fake bot situations as it is. Like, that dude's right. trying to make money, make a living, care for himself, and this dude's trying to bring him down. Right. Like, that, that, was a, that was a big thing for a while until I heard the whole story on that. And, like, that could just be... Like, I've had people, I've had people on my own channel say uh like say oh the whole c engineer thing is faked you know it's like the guy's chanced me two times if he's faking he's doing a terrible fucking yeah, job dude, you're <laughs> fucking committed to the bit yeah he, he committed so hard he nearly fucking killed me <laughs> yeah. uh, so like I, I don't know like people are just gonna say shit is fake just to say it like oh yeah or either that or they're just in incredibly stupid which is the case a lot of the time yeah but i i feel bad for him for that whole scenario yeah well, yeah also with with pk content like i think kevin has probably been accused of faking clips like a thousand times by now oh and more than that dude. more than that dude and yeah. and he i can say with confidence that he has never faked a single clip like yeah. mm -hmm. because i know kevin and he's way too fucking lazy to do that he does not yeah, that, care that, that much that is like <laughs> dude do you know how fucking like 10 brain you'd have to be to yeah. make a convict like Fuck off, dude. Yeah. I'd rather stand AFK on six accounts and wait for someone to show up. Then that's honestly what he does. He'll yeah. share his screen and he's got six fucking clients open. And I'm like, dude, you're an idiot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you could just, I would honestly, I think it'd be less work to fake the clips than and then get the real ones that he gets. Like, 100% it would, but he just oh. fucking doesn't, dude. Like, I don't know. Well, he, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure for him to, like, he, he enjoys. You know, yeah, sitting there for six hours, probably not the funnest thing to do in the world, but when you actually get that PK, I'm sure he's oh, just yeah. over the about he's it. He's a psychopath. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah. loves it. Dude, I, I, actually, I actually got shit a lot for the first time ever on a video, the latest White Wolf, mm -hmm. for killing, uh, what was it, Air Orb people? Oh, yeah. 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 That was so surprising to me. I, the... The amount of people who are upset about that, <laughs> to be clear, I've never watched anyone kill air or bots or normal people 
in a video. I've never seen it before. I've never been there before in the game. <laughs> and I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks about it. I was just going there because it was a new fun thing for me to get kills. The amount of people were like, holy shit, I can't believe you would do that. I was like, I can. I, what, are you kidding me? <laughs> I literally just wandered around here. I've seen people run here while killing people at the Earth Warriors. So then I thought I would go kill someone here. And it actually was really fun. Yeah. And just because killing one person felt super like unrewarding. And I just, what normally happened is I would train for 40 or 50 hours to get one combat level and then go PK for 10 minutes. I was like, I wanted to PK more. So I just killed a lot of bots there and killed a couple normal people too and got into some fights died once because i think i died to a guy d claw specking me who was like baiting and pretending to be a but i was like I, and i kept the clip in there just because i thought it was funny mm -hmm. um what was your reasoning was it was it just they think it was unethical to be killing people in the wilderness i well i think r to, fair to their credit like what they want to see is a challenge and me doing a challenging thing in the game and to okay fair uh and I didn't really highlight the fact that I spent 40 hours getting a level and then would got a kill and then spent 40 hours getting a level and then got a kill and then spent 40. So this video actually took me like three weeks and was extremely challenging in the grind. Mm -hmm. But I like I stood it. I, I fought everybody that wasn't farming the air orbs that I saw. And I was there for probably uh three to six hours every time i went and so it was challenging in that regard but then all, all i showed in the clips was like i'm ready i was just ready to get to an ags to be honest yeah. and so in the con people, do one i just want to kill some people damn it yeah so in the con yeah and so in the context of the entire series the i think the episode fits perfectly but i can understand if you like didn't know who I was, hadn't seen any of the videos before, thought that I thought that I was good at the game, <laughs> and then showed up and was like, why is he killing air orb bots? I could see how you'd be like... Did you get a normal kill for the combat level, like fighting someone? I got... I mean, it was probably like six different... Five or six combat levels, and a couple, many of them had kills of normal people. Yeah. Very few of them were bots, um, I think. And then some of them were fights. I don't know. It was just, I, I really thought very little about it. Yeah. And honestly, I could hardly give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All my other episodes are like, I'm doing like BH fights and stuff. Yeah. I don't know. Like I'm, the challenge is really just get a PK at every combat level. I'm going out of my way to fight the most challenging people I can on the account without just feeding um, and this next episode, I'm actually having Mint Mad Cow train me in wilderness PvP because I have no idea what I'm doing. That's another thing that I think that people forget. I'm not, I'm not good at PKing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm okay at pure BH fights. If we're both pures and we're going to go fight 1v1 in an opted-in fight, I know what I'm doing quite well and can one-tick the fuck out of a gmall spec out of a msb or something but when it comes to wilderness fighting or tribriding or anything like that i have no i've never done it so we'll, we'll see how this episode goes actually i think right after this i'm, I'm gonna go play with mid man count he's gonna go show me how to not int my ags all right hear me out you two are like people perceive you guys as like the upcoming boys like the fucking the men that are fucking going to the top, the top quality. So at the end of both of your series, whoever fucking wins, both of you are like just maxed combat. You fight each other and whoever fucking wins gets to keep their account and the other one never logs on again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, I had this idea with the engineer. Yeah. Like I was, gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna say, if I fight you and I kill you, you can never hunt me again or something like that. But no, that would be that would be cool too. Yeah. I, yeah. I thought about hunting you many times on the White Wolf or a lot of the, but the account's just not 
I'm not. I'm either not in the right bracket or I don't have the right. And I'm locked out of a lot of quests because of the way that defense experience will get me multiple combat levels. So until a lot of the either PvP world hardcores or your counter it's a, are a lot closer to max level, which I once I get to max level, I'm actually going to try and like fight people and 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 get, start going to kill some people. Um, mm -hmm. But I'm not quite there. I'm still just a pure on the White Wolf. But I would I would absolutely fight you or I'm not saying you need to risk hardcore status or something. But if you have any good ideas where our dudes can go head to head, I think that that would be dope. You could do the like clan I, arena thing too. I've definitely because I've definitely thought of the idea of having um content creators be milestones for my kills at each combat level. Yeah. Um, I I, I don't I, I think if I wanted to do it, it sounds like such a good idea to to fight somebody at some point and have the account be on the line. Uh but then there's a part of me like, but my hardcore though. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right. Yeah, yeah. Like it up. there's not like uh there's a good chance you die. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, very, very good chance. Yes. Yeah, there's no round two. Yeah. Uh, no. yeah. Hey, well, uh, we've yeah. been we've been recording for two hours. Okay, yeah, we uh, should. I have to edit this thing. We're done. The podcast is over. Yeah, we're gonna. Uh, if there's anything you want to say at the end? Yeah, anything? Uh, let, uh, speak now or forever hold your peace. Too slow. The podcast is ending. <laughs> <laughs>